In Top Solid 2007, the contour finishing routine has been enhanced as well. We've added some more lead-in and lead-out controls. For example, if I go to Top Logic and select this face, choose Outer Profile Finish, I'll go grab this end mill here, and let's go to our lead-in and lead-out parameters. Before, in the old version, you saw tangential, direct, perpendicular. Now you also have angular and helical. Let's start with helical. I'm going to do a 180 degree helical move that's going to be a 50 thousandths depth of cut, for example. So what's going to happen is we're going to start 50 thousandths above the part here and do the helical ramp onto the contour profile. Do the same thing on the exit. So here we'll do 180, 50 thousandths. So there you can see your little helical move and the helical move off. Let's go take a look at that toolpath a little closer. If we look at it from the side, you can see it's actually doing the, doing the helix on and off the part. And if we look at the G-code for it, you can see the helical move here as well as here. Now, let's talk about the other lead-in and lead-out enhancements. In some cases, maybe you want to lead in and off the part, off the side of the part here, profile on and around, and you do want to use cutter comp, but there's no reason to use an arc move to do so with. So in this case, we're going to do a manual contour via faces. I'm going to select this face first. This is an intermediate face that designates the direction I want to cut. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to pick this face here as my end face. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that as the altitude I want to cut at, and select my tool. Now, so you can see the preview of the tool path, I'm going to switch to wireframe. Okay, so let's go do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and just set all the values here, so we take one pass. And now let's go to the lead in, lead out parameters. Here, I'm going to set it to angular. I'm going to set my angle at zero, and watch over here when I do. So now we're going to lead in basically tangent to the profile we're machining. And I can add a nice little overlap here. We'll do the same thing on the lead out. And we'll say OK. And like that, you've successfully turned on cutter comp and came in tangent to the profile you're machining. And just to show you again the G-code, let's go ahead and post-process this. And here's your G41 move with your lead-in. We cut the part, that's that extra inch of motion. Cut the rest of it, and we lead out. 